and I'm just gonna put it all out on this video and I'm starting with David because even though Jason's creepy and disgusting David's on a whole other level of being an actual horrible person. Trisha Paytas just made a video exposing David Dobrik and her relationship with Jason Nash, but there are a lot of valuable lessons that we can learn from this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, all right? So yeah, Trisha Paytas just made a video. And don't worry, I'm gonna address what you all want me to address in a little bit. But anyways, let's talk about what's going on. So real quick, for those of you who haven't checked out her video, I'll link it down below as well. But she just made a video where she's vis visibly upset, obviously. And she talked about how David Dobrik isn't really that great of a guy, some issues with um, Jason Nash, some other problems with the vlog squad and all that. And those of you who are new to my channel, my channel isn't about drama. What I wanna do is take what you guys are seeing on YouTube and see if there's something that you can learn from it so you can address certain things in your life. Because one of the reasons I've made so many videos about Trisha Paytas is because I can relate to her so, so, so much. So I'm not gonna cover every single topic point by point in this video, but there was a few standout things that I wanted to discuss, all right? So in this clip right here, Trisha was talking about how Jason was kind of invalidating her feelings. And we can also call this gaslighting. Most of the time, and even crying now, Every if I would cry like this, I have cried like this, I wouldn't call Jason and he says, stop, stop with the fake tears, you're manipulating me. It's like, it's no, there's actual pain. And... All right, so gaslighting is a manipulation technique that people will use. This is most common in relationships, but this can be with your friends, your family members or whatever. And this is something that they will do. So when you're getting upset about something, they will try to make you feel as though you're crazy, right? Like, oh no, 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 this isn't a bad thing. Like you're just overreacting, you're being crazy and all these other things. And I feel bad because that's what was happening to Trisha. Like you guys, your reality, your experience, nobody can deny you that, okay? I don't care if it's your mom, I don't care if it's your dad, I don't care if it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your children, the people who, you know, are the closest to you in your life. Nobody can tell you what you should or should not be feeling, all right? They cannot tell you that you are blowing things out of proportion. And actually, let me correct myself on that because I'm just thinking about sometimes I've blown some shit out of proportions. Dang, I need to bleep that out. But I can think about some times where I've blown stuff out of proportion. But something that I will suggest for any of you, if, you ha if you're in a relationship and somebody tells you that you're blowing it out of proportion things, like, turn to your support group. Turn to somebody else in your life, all right? Thankfully, my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, she doesn't gaslight me. So if I feel like, you know, people are calling me out for something, I can turn to her and say, am I crazy? Am I blowing this out of proportion? Is, are my emotions disproportionate to the experience that is happening right now? Right? So let's say maybe I go to the grocery store and I'm gonna, you know, like I have these little like jalapeno crispy things that I like to put on the salads that I make and sometimes they're out. Like if I started like flipping like tables at the grocery store and knocking things off the shelves, my emotions would be disproportionate to the situation that's happening. But Trisha Paytas talking about how Jason Nash was getting egged on by David Dobrik for a bit to talk about having a threesome with Tana Mojo, I think Trisha Paytas's response to that was very proportionate to the situation that was happening. So for Jason Nash to tell her that she was acting crazy is not cool at all, all right? So if this is happening to you, please be aware of this. Talk to other people in your support group and ask them what they think about the situation, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna address it. See, originally when I started making these YouTube videos, I would always say these videos aren't for the YouTuber, the videos are for you, but my channel's growing. And both you and I know at this point that Trisha Paytas sees my videos. I don't know if she's seeing this video. But Trisha, if you're watching this, 
I'm gonna give you some friendly advice. Some unsolicited friendly advice, but hey, I know some comments are gonna say, she didn't ask for your advice. Well, too bad. Sometimes the best advice you get is unsolicited advice. Tristan gives me unsolicited advice all the time that saves my butt. So Trisha, this is my unsolicited advice to you. Like clearly, clearly you were like, you were justified in your emotions to make this video, but I do think that you shouldn't have made this video based on your emotions, all right? So my advice would be to Trisha or anybody else, especially YouTubers out there who is going, who are going through this right now, turn to your friends and talk to them. Ask them if they think it's a good idea to make a video when you're so emotional. Like if I was talking to Trisha, if we were talking into a DM, I'd be like, girl, before you make this video, how about you call Shane? How about you call Jeffrey? How about you call and talk about that? Like shameless plug real quick. Um, for my book, Rewire Your Anger, I talk about the art of venting, right? Because so many times we are very emotional and we think that we have to do something, we think we have to get something out there, or we think we have to go after somebody, but we don't. We really just needed to talk to a friend and calm down. Hell, I'll use myself as an example. My Prim Inc. response video that I made the other day, if I would have made that video when I wanted to make it and had Tristan not told me not to, that video would have came out way different. I wouldn't have been calm, cool, collected. I wouldn't have had my facts straight. I wouldn't have been able to put it together as well as it was put together. So I need people in my life to say, yo, Chris, you need to calm down and relax before you jump on YouTube and make a video. So Trisha, if you're watching this, like you can't reverse the past, but if this happens again, if something like this happens again, I would highly recommend that you turn to some of your closest friends like Shane or Jeffrey before hopping on camera and making such a highly emotional video because a lot of us do things when we're upset that we look back on and then we regret them. If you watch David's vlog, which I, a lot of people have because I get tweets and comments and texts about it, there's this like joke that he knows I don't like, so he pushes it. He pushes it because he knows it gets like a reaction from me. And then like, at the beginning, it's like funny. And then like finally, I, I like there was a vlog where I take all my clothes off in David's house because I'm so pissed. I'm just so pissed. And I ask him, I even say like it's not in the video, but I, I'm quiet. I'm like, I'm not gonna even add to this. Like if you guys want to joke about it, it's fine. I'm not gonna add to this anymore. Like it, it it's it hurts me. <laughs> but it also disgusts me and... Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is, man, like I feel, I feel so bad for Trisha in this situation, all right? So a lot of you know Trisha's past and her history. She is uh, a sexual woman, right? Like, you know, she's done her thing. She has her private Patreon where, you know, she does whatever and girl, you do you, boo. Like what a woman does with her body, I do not care, all right? But something that's always kind of bothered me about David Dobrik's vlogs, but like, it's not my place to say anything, but what's bothered me is how he really sexualizes the women in his vlogs, right? And I know they're young, like wild and crazy guy. Like, like Dom, is that is that, that one dude name who's like sleeping with everybody? Yeah, so like Dom, he's like sleeping with everybody left and right and whatever, but like, you know, that's his thing, but you know, I, I see the videos where the way like David talks to Trisha or even sometimes Jason does. And like I said, like maybe this is just the relationship they have and they joke about this and Trisha's cool with it, right? But what we learned in this video is that Trisha isn't cool with it. You know what I mean? And like, it makes me wonder too, if the other women in his videos are cool with it. And I'm not trying to play Mr. White Knight here, but like, like we, <laughs> you know, we have to be respectful and we have to like be mindful of another person's boundaries. Like something that I learned a long time ago is that a person might joke about themselves, but they might get highly offended if I make the same joke about them, right? And sometimes it's trial and error. Like I joke around a lot, but sometimes I've made jokes and I realize I'm like, oh wait, they're not cool with me joking about that, right? Like you see it a lot in the rooms, like I learned this in 12 step programs, where like a person will make fun of their own, you know, uh, war stories of them getting drunk or high or whatever it is, right? They'll make fun of themselves, but if somebody else makes fun of themselves, uh, that person for doing it, that person gets really offended, right? So it's kind of the same thing. So I wonder, you know, about these other women. So like. I am, I'm not a woman, but what my suggestion would be, 
ladies out there and even men if this is happening to you too like set up boundaries set up boundaries and let that person know i am not okay with this right like something that trisha was very upset about was they they you know in the vlog squad it's always like do it for the vlog do it for the vlog do it for the vlog and it's like i am not here to be your trained monkey and do whatever you want me to do for the vlog sorry but that is not something that i'm going to do right and if it gets to a point where that other person is not respecting your boundaries i don't care if it's your friends i don't care if it's your boyfriend i don't care if it's your girlfriend like you need to walk away and say sorry like you are not respecting my boundaries in this situation and that's why i'm out of here right so i don't know if whether or not trisha set up those boundaries or whatever but it seems to me total speculation here it seems to me based on what she said in this it's been going on for a while and they pressure her into doing it and that kind of stuff really does break my heart because um women as well as some men can get pressured into doing these types of things that you know then we look back on it we feel degraded and stuff like that like when a, when a woman does something with her body, whether it's like, you know, being a cam girl or whatever it is, right? Like, they are in control of that situation. You see what I mean? But anyways, that's kind of my, my you know, take on this. And I hope you guys all learned something from this as well. And Trisha, if for some reason you see this video, feel free to reach out. Um, you got my name on Instagram and Twitter. Feel free to shoot me a DM uh, if there's anything you'd like to chat about with me, if I can be there for you or whatever. But anyways, if you guys can relate to anything in this video or anything that Trish is going through, let's have a conversation down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel and get some exclusive perks and all that good stuff, you can click a tap on that icon right there, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.